Alright everyone, it is me, Jensen Chan. I had an alright night's sleep. I mean, I think I could have slept an extra hour, but, uh, oh well. Uh, something interesting happened yesterday. Uh, I actually delayed myself until like 5pm and then at uh, 8. And then, interestingly enough, even though I only took in about 1,000 calories, I usually go 800 to 1,100. Right? And it's already eating a little too much already in a meal, but... Um, yeah, I actually wound up, uh, falling, uh, uh, which I actually wound up, like, getting that, like, I way over eight feeling. Like, I haven't had that in a long time. So my body was really burning, uh, body fat. So it was actually an interesting insight. So I'm definitely trying many different experiments to try to accelerate my weight loss. <coughs> eh, corona, coronavirus. So, um... <clears throat> Yeah, once I get this thing down pat, figure out the timing and stuff, because I definitely like the idea of eating later. Like, it's definitely having a, a positive impact on it. It's got to, like, tweak it. Uh, and on top of that, you know, if it turns out we do have a meat shortage in two weeks, you know, uh, I'm going to have to start eating less. <laughs> yeah, but from the way it looks, it looks like it's not too bad uh, for now. Uh, so you don't have to go hoarding yet. But, um, I don't know, for me, I'll probably just pick up a little extra supplies next week. Or so and it's mostly affecting just tyson foods which uh is not only really expensive already but their quality of meat just sucks anyway so it's like i, I wouldn't even bother eating that <clears throat> so anyway um let's say I spent more time reading the book i can't remember much of the details because uh which mccall is just talking about how jeff uh, jeff bezos this would be like around 2000 early 2000s in the dot-com uh bust uh and you know uh apparently yeah i mean i don't really remember this but amazon was losing a ton of money because they were growing too fast so they were just burning a lot of money uh, on expenses on growth uh and, and then jeff was like okay you're right i have to i have to like dial back dial it back a lot so you know they started to be more conservative financially and you know and uh, and amazon had to actually fire a lot of people too from bottom to up uh and it sucked too because you had people cry there was one woman who just like broke down and cried and started rolling around on the floor or something it's like jesus christ see that is why workplace violence happens all right you know so it's like geez so in my case i'm like thinking well i know i'm not gonna give people stock i'll like before i was like maybe i'll take my company public now i don't and then now i do right because amazon does the same thing uh, the difference is you just don't get access to the voting stuff. N none of you idiots are going to tell me what to do, all right? I'm in control of my kid. That's it. Uh, with that being said, <clears throat> I still don't want to give stocks to my employees because it's going to be a pain in the ass to do that. So I'm like, well, I still want to give them some sort of profit sharing. So I'm actually thinking, well, obviously the company makes money off of sales and microtransactions and whatever. So why don't I just create like a one, two percent pool and then just give every single like employee just a share of that. Right. And then if I have executives, um, I guess they'll just get something different. Right. They won't. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think of it. But that's where I'm going. That way, everything's scalable. Everything's simple. And I don't have to do anything. Right. And plus, nobody gets the stock. Right. Maybe the stock would be reserved for the executives or something. All right, because if I had like 355,000 employees or however 40,000, no. Microsoft number of employees. If I had that many, if I had this many employees, uh, okay, 148,465 of 20, as of 2019. All right, if I had this many, it's like, eh, I don't know. All right, and it, yeah. I mean, maybe I wouldn't care, but the problem, the reason why I don't like doing that is because over time, I have to, I have to, I'm forced to get rid of my own shares, and I don't like that, all right? You know, there's a reason why companies buy back their stock, right? You know, I don't, I want to be in a position where I don't have to do something like that, you know, so, yeah, but... Yeah, so there's that, and then this coronavirus shit, which, again, we'll talk about today. I'm starting to get really mad about it now, because, um, yeah, it's... In fact, uh, where is my tweet about this? Yeah, so basically the narrative supposedly should be collapsing, but I don't see anybody who's famous, like, on any, on any side, you know, our side, the left side, or whatever, they're not even talking about this, all right? This thing is a collapse, all right? This shit is bullshit, all right? 21% of New Yorkers tested positive for coronavirus antibodies, which means we were already infected. The death rate is one-tenth the projections. 
All right, and this is and this links to AP News. Stop this fucking mass hysteria and restore our rights and reopen this fucking country. All right, uh, I already read that Germany has already reopened their country, and they said, oh yeah, there's not a lot of customers. Well, yeah, of course people are scared, and there's not a lot of customers. They're, they're just coming like, but just give it a little time, a week or two, right? And it'll go back to normal. All right. Um, and then Trump's doing a faux pas. Like he actually suggested injecting people with like disinfectants and uh, ultraviolet radiation. Uh, I think he forgets that it's going to cause cancer. <laughs> so uh, this is one of those rare mistakes that Trump's doing. It's just like uh, I can't name the country that is in the Middle East. That's fucking you can't name. You can't criticize. Well, those people really fucked us over here, right? And they and they, and, and they won. They 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 they're winning, all right. You know, I don't expect Trump's uh, re-election chances to improve anytime soon. Well, let's put it that way. It's actually going to probably go to continue to drop, all right. If he keeps doing this dumb shit, so he you know, and now he's stuck. He's stuck. So, oh well. Um, if Trump was smart, he would be looking for stuff like this and then fucking retweeting and saying. Hey, the death rate is a lot less than uh, it is. In fact, it's less than what it, than the flu. So we should, and we don't shut down when there's a regular flu. So we should actually reopen this shit. All right, that is the only way. All right, and no, no, no one is doing it. All right, uh, Adam Scrabble used to be pretty uh, adamant about this, but he's actually just been talking mostly about China and something, and also some stuff about Amazon. Uh, and then looks like it looks like he hasn't said anything recently. Uh, he doesn't really tweet much, and like, just does his usual thing. I don't know why is he not showing up here. Oh, good, he got rid of the mask. I always found the mask thing annoying. It's like, I don't know why people use the mask. Yeah, that's actually a pretty nice tuxedo. Bullet work for men. Ah, Dzio, huh? I'm saying to minimize coronavirus. I'm saying to remind you to take care of yourselves. All right, so all right, so. Mike is finally doing something to help me out with this fucking, like, this fucking mass hysteria bullshit. And obviously he has to be careful, because if he just, because, if he just comes out and says, oh, it's a hoax, just a real, you know, he's going to get banned. Right, you'll notice that I'm not saying certain words either, because I don't want to get banned either. Right, and that's the other problem, right? They're deliberately pushing this bullshit on us. All right, look, 2,000 2, people today died of heart disease. That's already, like, what, four times the death rate from coronavirus already so i mean but nobody seems to be freaking out about heart disease right <sighs> now you could say well because one is contagious and the other one's not yeah and what do you mean and, and here's what i have to say to that yeah it is fucking contagious right 21 percent of us have fucking coronavirus how many people died as a percentage significantly less all right not even like a fraction of a fucking percent and that's the point by the way, that is a very nice tuxedo. I should actually get something similar to that. Uh, and then... The state really wants your kids as early as possible. Hard prefer wants to ban homeschool because it's authoritarian. So, you know, so now so now they're stealing your kids. Uh, very bad. Not dead. Not dead. I'll have a few other victims were killed by a former or current partner according to U.S. government statistics. So what's this? Let's see. Well, but domestic violence on the increase. Very bad. Not death. And not death of someone else. See, that's what we have to factor into this equation. Yeah, it's your life. Do whatever you want. But you're not responsible for my life. You have a responsibility to me. It's not just about you. domestic violence. Uh, for a part of Korea, uh, um, well, I didn't see the whole thing. See, at least he's aware of the problem, but, you know, Kwan does have to fucking reopen something. As soon as you hear about the Korea Bay shutdowns, they're leading to more child abuse and domestic abuse. Oh, okay. Because I couldn't really tell what the hell this is. But I'll retweet it. Uh, silver light of Korea Bay is it'll hurt Trump. Well, that's actually true. It is actually hurting Trump, right? It's it's hurting Trump pretty well. You want to go outside? You must be pro COVID, half a libertarian. I go outside. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna retweet that though. Uh, Larry compares hoaxed to Bin Laden. Whenever you go, here you go. What? 
Pelkado Wikipedia tree. Can I start on a good thing? It's already considered for deletion according to good deletion policy. Uh, uh, wow, what the fuck? That is, you really hate fake PETA, you can't sue him, which is bullshit. So, we, we should be able to sue him for that. Um, Celia, you know, the grabbing gear, yeah, she's pretty hot. Um, Jen, she's actually a light skinned black lady, I think. I don't know any easier, but stop really stop replying to people with unrelated tweets and links. Uh, stop replying to people with unrelated tweets. This was that she really cropped out the drum. Any, any guess is why Amazon Washington Post bar cropped this picture? Uh. Okay. God, I really hate the new Twitter. Why would you crop the picture? Well, that was really bad. Sure as you see every political elected official or poor how often are you truly impressed by any of these people? None. In fact, when was the last time it really was? You know the question just as I did. Finish this movie quote. I don't know. Uh, another half trillion dollars, four million more applied, twenty six million giant, and what's trending? Lysol. Yeah, that's exactly okay, so alright. So it looks like he's I mean I guess Mike wants to play it really slow. I personally just don't give a shit. I just want to go all out because this is fucking bullshit. Fifty five gallon drum girl has a history of spraying disinformation. Alright, I think that's enough because I don't want I don't want my timeline turning to Mike Sermage's timeline. It's like uh it's just, it's just too much. I need people to actually read what I have to say, like the like the three of you that read it. Um, so, all right. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Bitcoin searches for this week is twelve. Um, so far, it looks like the well, the immigration moratorium was actually bullshit. So there's actually no change from that. Um, Jared Kushner and the people truly in charge of the world in America have successfully fucked us again in the ass with our consent. Yeah, big surprise. So, uh, yeah, immigration, uh, our borders remain open, essentially, right? But the exceptions of just people, you know, illegal, you know, illegal crossers coming in through, um, you know, Mexico's, the Mexico border. Like, obviously, Mexico's kicking everybody out, all right? Because they don't want fucking coronavirus either, so. And they've already been pretty good with actually working with us, too, for kicking everybody out. So, at least we're okay on the southern border front. And, you know, I haven't watched Nick Fuentes in a while, but he continues to, as of, like, a couple of weeks ago, continues to say... Trump's been pretty good at building the wall, so I'll just take his word for it, you know. I mean, Ann Coulter is probably better at it, but I mean, at this point, Ann hasn't even bothered to support the Gripers or at least call out the censorship, right? You know, because they've been, everyone's been banned on TikTok now, so. Uh, you know, uh, oh well. Bitcoin now is at 63.9%, 24 of them is 137.7 billion. Uh, Bitcoin's basically 7,500 bucks. So that's good. Litecoin's at 44 bucks. Very good. Um, Dogcoin, 257.6 million market cap. All right. Uh, obviously, it's barely up a percent, but to line, the spark lines are going straight up in a 45 degree angle. So, like, these spark lines are generally pretty unreliable on coin market cap. Uh, Steam has actually increased to 16.31 cents. It's up a nice chunk of change. Uh, but it's dropped out of semi's position, but that's okay. All I care about is that everything just goes up. Stocks you raise for earlier gains, crude oil advances. Um, unprecedented drought. Okay, so I actually have these two critical articles open because I want to read what it says. Uh, we'll come see. Oh, U.S. core capital goods orders expectedly rise in March. Uh, core capital, what does that mean? I mean, of course, shit's going to go up during coronavirus. So we'll take a look at what that is. Hilton CEO says he's been very involved with Trump administration, blah, 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 blah. So of course, because he doesn't want to go bankrupt. Uh, Trump developing plans, aid oil, despite Democrats' opposition. Um, normally, I just say who gives a shit. But unfortunately, a lot of conservatives, uh, especially Texas and I found somewhere else in America that's a net exporter of oil, uh, make a lot of money off of oil. So of course, Trump has to help out his base. So, you know, then that's fine. But purely political. Uh, which is unfortunate. Um, 
And that being said, I suppose those oil people uh, don't have alternatives, right? There's a reason why once you make money, you have to always diversify because shit like this always happens. You put all your eggs in one basket, like let's say oil or cryptocurrency or whatever, you know it's going to like die or uh, disappear someday, right? You know, at least with cryptocurrency, it'll never go to zero, right? As long as the fundamentals are correct, right? Um, what you might call it, and the people behind those fundamentals are solid, right? Which is why I, you know, created JMC and four four coin. Then two by two coin is, you know, we tro uh, we we trust the people, so you know it's uh, it's pretty solid. You know, compound coin was looking kind of dangerous, but you know the Alex Preve or Alex Prev guy, you know, he's been very consistent on Discord for like for many years. So you know this is probably pretty solid, but. You know, we want more money and you know it's like eh, i don't know I mean, all, all it takes is for it to just one day just walk away so it's like eh. uh resentment groans on main street over bailout winners and losers uh that's good and yeah i haven't gotten my fucking coronavirus check yet uh coronavirus, and i've seen the comments on yahoo also saying the same thing too it's being upvoted like abnormally large Coronavirus checks for senators sound alarm on social security beneficiaries not receiving. Yeah, so all this fucking money is like going to the fucking big business, you know, F words, and we're not getting any of our fucking money. They're like, this is bullshit. Meanwhile, they're fucking telling us to just stay home and then just give up everything that we have. Like, this, this is, like, this is war, this is essentially slavery and fucking tyranny, all right? And heads are going to start rolling if they don't fucking start uh, uh, reopening this shit. You know, uh, the problem is liberals are still too fucking uh, scared and fucking, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Agreeable with the shutdown, right? And they're fucking literally killing us, all right? So, you know, I'm not sure what it's going to take for the liberals to get on board with reopening America, but they better change their minds soon. Uh, you know, because I like, because I like, because again, at least on the upside, right? You know, all this liberal stuff that I don't like, especially with all the stupid marches that just seem to happen every week. Yeah, they're all gone. So, you know, yeah, the JMC coins at seven to ten. It's been pretty volatile. It's been going up all over the place. Uh, with very good uh, trade value, by the way. Four or four coins seems to be stabilizing at seven to eight. You know, fine by me. Also, crazy high trade volume. Two by two coins kind of settled down a bit. Now it's at sixty six, sixty five, to sixty nine satoshis of a bitcoin. Compound coin sixty three hundred to sixty nine hundred or so satoshis of a dog coin. Pretty solid. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little quick look. CME futures, uh, April's expiration. Blah, 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 blah. Demand for Bitcoin surges in Argentina's defaults loom. Yeah, I mean, it's always, Argentina's always got a lot of problems. No, I keep confusing them with Venezuela. Now, you lean crypto targets eight grand. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess people are also pricing in Bitcoin halving pretty soon, too, so. Alice issues crypto is still a lot of Bitcoin Ethereum when this happens, so we don't care. Uh, way off base, three or plus Bitcoin services is worth. Okay. YouTube responds to what do you know? All right, we covered that yesterday. All right, so Trump is over there. Um, let's see. We'll be helping El Salvador with ventilators. Uh, he says they've been working pretty well in stopping the illegal border jumpers, so that's good. Yeah, see, we're now actually shipping out ventilators, right? See, this is this is just adding to, like, the hysteria, like, you know, I mean, adding to the uh, narrative that, yeah, this thing is bullshit, right? Why are we shipping out ventilators? Oh, because we don't actually need them. Well, why don't we? Because people are dying nearly as much. So why the fuck are we still in this crazy lockdown shit? Uh, maybe, we'll see. Uh, Ecuador is also sending. Okay, so we're sending the stupid assholes, the exception of Indonesia, more ventilators. Fine, whatever. The fake Atolica is after eight days. She's smashed around McDaniel. Da -da -da. State representative would said nearly die for her, but because she dared to say something about Trump, Michigan Democrat Party was are effectively kicking her out of the party. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty mean. BP tells on Rio, should Rio is where the worst is behind us, and you know, actually, you know what? Um, I should actually retweet this. 
That way, all the frothing at the mouth Trump haters will just not uh, ignore this part. Uh, let's see. It will largely be behind us by Memorial Day. I think, well, that's Memorial Day 2020. That's like the end of May, I think. Yeah, May 25th. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, it'll be a lot warmer, too. Uh, you hope he's right. Okay. We have a decision as to who will restore our economy after this pandemic. Trump has already done it once, and he's definitely the right person to do it again. Okay. Poor news. Uh, suspending to put American. Uh, I'm not going to retweet because this turned out to be bullshit. Uh, getting very good reviews. Have been handled fairly well. Testing is getting exponentially better every day. Uh, okay. After the pandemic, with the fire back engine, I'm truly looking forward to watching Trump making this country great again. Yes, that's true. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, other notes, I should definitely clean proc. So he's doing Lysol, Corning Tower, and I'll bring you tonight in New York Tough. Oh, ah, looks kind of nice. You want to hear a dumb idea? I don't want to listen to that. That's a minute. Time muscle gotta put prayer to gain your mouth of prayer fast yeah values during the reservability or really not during the other day of the day of the day of the day. My job is to give him uh twenty to twelve. One of the really good ones to give him is to go back for it makes no sense. He doesn't want the blue state uh fifty. Oh god. How does Mitch McConnell keep getting reelected? All right, and blah blah blah. Percent positive by region. New York City, 21.2%. Weighted results. Uh, uh, shows a 13.9 collection fee. Percent by demographics. Uh, wow, Asians and whites are actually uh, doing pretty well against this thing. Well, I'll explain why a lot of people want to beat us up. <laughs> so... Um, let's see... Uh, probably a shows of 13.9%. Okay. All right. So, so we play our cards right. If the right people are playing their cards right, they should be pushing the, hey, the death rate's significantly lower now that we're testing everybody. And a lot of people are already infected. This is bullshit. Reopen America. So that, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so we got three. All right, so let's take a look. Where are we at? 23 minutes. New or all right, so U.S. core capital. What is core capital goods? New orders were key U.S. made capital goods, but the gains are not likely to be sustainable amid coronavirus. Uh, Non-defense capital goods excludes aircraft. Oh, this is nothing. All right, it's just it's 0 0.1%. It's just, it's just bullshit. All right. Now, unprecedented drop in aircraft two is relatively good news. Morning brief. Uh, data play twelve percent GDP decline is now good news. Economy has been grim. All data is likely to get worse. But Thursday, Wednesday, our friend decline activity both the blah blah, blah is relatively good news. Uh, hit a record low. Composing uh, blah, 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 blah. private sector firms do, uh, decline. Do, uh, yeah, so everything's going down. Everything's going down. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, so you know, so here will contract, and then, so GDP is expected to drop 12% during the second quarter. That actually makes sense given how much we shut down. Very skeptical that there is probably accurate gauge of how bad the decline will be. Da, 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 da. And they also said, they also cited a lot of non-response rate to surveys because many businesses were shut down, because obviously they were ordered to. Nevertheless, even though the April reading is record low, it should be as relatively good news. Here's the question. Why? <clears throat> uh, okay, our, our forecast, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we expect job losses. Before we expect a recovery, I uh, don't expect a player to return to 2020 levels until early 2022. First of all, that's, yeah, okay. So this is just retarded. This whole thing is retarded except the 12% GDP decline. All right. Um, 
uh, I, I guess progress is relevant. I call the Kai at 40 is good news. Though, to be fair, the author just suggested Kai could contract by 40% for the quarter if once properly measured. Yeah, I mean, 40% sounds about right. 40% is kind of a lot. Um, but it's possible, right? Because we literally shut everything down. So technically, it goes to zero. <clears throat> um... I mean, you want to find out about the as well the financial markets. So, all right. I just want to see if there's anything new. So I'm going to remain neutral on this because on the one hand, you could scream, yeah, fake news terrorism. Yeah, that's certainly always possible. But, um, you know, how many times have you heard like, oh, new, uh, the thing went down, the stock went down, but the price went up a shit ton. Why? It's, it's actually the exact same uh, principle at work here. And yeah, the guy says he doesn't know if it's 14 to 40 <clears> percent. <throat> so, but he's, he's settling at 14 percent for now. So basically, it's not as bad as it sounds. Is essentially what he's saying. But he could still very be uh, very well be wrong. And he even said the survey data itself was just tainted because a lot of people were not able to respond due to the shutdown. So that's why they went as high as 40 percent. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't even bother looking at the stocks because, again, like I said, until we reopen America, it's not going to go up, right? I mean, it's all fundamentals at this point. It's, it's so easy to see. Uh, Misha says, you know, U.S. plans for server good service, sir, uh, lifeline. Treasury Survey said U.S. has no plans to create a Fed Reserve facility to inject funding in non bad ink. As recent government moves will help the firms get through the risk of millions of borrowers defaulting on their payments. Bishop pointed to Guinea May's decision last month to facilitate payments to mortgage bondholders themselves, thus covering an obligation that would have fallen on servicers. Um, that's combined with the FH, uh, whatever they're called, matriculates Fannie and Freddie Mac. We'll deal with liquidity concerns. Okay, we're not looking at a Fed facility for this at the time. The move is that both regulators have just taken more than sufficient to create liquidity. Treasury Secretary have been under pressure to bail out service other companies that collect monthly payments for and funnel money to investors in securities made up of home loans. They're still obligated to pay the bondholders, right? Even if the homeowner is going to forbearance. Right. This is, I assume this is what Tom Barrett, the colony capital billionaire guy that does commercial real estate, was complaining about. Despite that concern, she says Jack pose a systemic uh, said the trade is taking a risk. This is a loss for an industry. I was hoping for more substantive support. Uh, Treasury and the Fed will be forced to reassess if forbearance uptake rates continue moving higher. Yeah, which it will if they keep shutting it down. So Trump better get his shit together and reopen America. Try to use trades on servicers. Da -da -da -da. Um, actually, Sweden has no shutdown, right? And their death rate is much lower than everywhere else, at least compared to the United Kingdom. I read down the uh, dissonant right website that cannot even be hinted or mentioned. Right, and he sourced it from AP or routers or Reuters or whatever. So you know he's not making up you know bullshit. Uh, it's true. So what? So all? So what has to happen is Americans need to confront the fear of dying from coronavirus, right? Because I know I have worries about it. Well, not really, right? But like I don't feel fear from it. It's like well, it's just there. So you know, I mean, it happens, right? You know, I squared away all my shit, right? You know, uh, with God. So, you know, if, if I meet them a little, a lot earlier than I was supposed to, well, I mean, that's just how it goes, right? But the vast majority of people will not die from it, right? And now that we're, and now that Cuomo has actually been releasing the, notice he's been releasing these, in, these data points, but it doesn't mention the fact that the, that the, the you know what, I need to write this. Notice that Cuomo is releasing the infection rates, infection rates. Uh, coronavirus, which is great, but but doesn't mention that the death rate is a lot lower as a percentage. This mass hysteria must end. Uh, has a much lower percentage of projections. Okay, it's gonna really piss off a lot of liberals that you know are obviously here, but that's all right. You know they're they're actually fucking killing us. Normally I don't like talking like that, and I want to be nicer to liberals, but you know the facts are like you know they're really fucking us 
they're really fucking people over with this shit, right? And then as we already saw, you know, you know, Cuomo was like, yeah, he's dismissed his domestic abuse concerns. Yeah, which is funny because it's like, you got to believe all women. you got to treat women with respect. And then when it actually comes time to actually do it, right, you know, um, you know, all of a sudden nobody gives a shit, you know, from the same left. It's like, you know, what's wrong? It's like, you, like you, what's wrong with you fucking people, right? You know, it's like, you know, your hatred of Trump really is just evil, right? You know, it's like it's, you're full of shit, right? So... That's why I just can't wait for the Griper uprising to finally exact vengeance and justice upon everybody when this is all said and done. I mean, assuming the you know we can make it out of this bullshit fucking uh, you know coronavirus shutdown situation, which we will, but it better be sooner rather than later. Uh, let's see. A lot of free life away. Well, it goes so far as designed as a buyer of last resort. Charles has been. Doing. Why well, put that same on the industry which dominates both servicing or engineering through the call a real life stress test? Probably because they don't have enough money. That's why they're that's why the Fed's doing it. Uh funding and approval. Uh my home driver and no help from the mortgage company. This is the same thing all over again. Hmm. A lot of people download it. Even the rest about sure, our house went up way up in the eighties. Oh yeah, so this was an attack on uh, white people and conservatives. Yeah, go figure. Ultra lib. Uh, where exactly got cooked? Wait, wait, what? There's a review of what's happening in finance now. What happened at any other time? Um, no, this per oh, I have to sign in. Well, I would download him because obviously he's a retard. Prices are still over 10 times in our bailout, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's like, uh, all right. Uh, so from what I can tell, all right, so it looks like just another neutral day. A lot of scary sounding headlines, but what I'm really looking for is reopening of America at this point, because that's really what's going to be killing us. So uh, I'm also guessing this will just be the thumbnail, because we're not really doing anything with uh, Bitcoin, because it's just doing its like usual thing. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So that, uh, which we'll call it, so that we can uh, you know, continue growing this channel. So uh, obviously I'm done for the week, right? I didn't realize today was Friday. So, uh, so far, everything looks pretty stable markets wise. Um, of course, fundamentally, we still need to reopen this country and really the world. So, you know, as more people reopen and people find that the death rates continue to decline, ideally, right, despite, you know, high infections rate, the people, it will slowly dawn on the people that's like, hey, this thing is bullshit. Like, let's just reopen this shit, right? Especially as it gets warmer, too, right? You know, so. Uh, yeah, um, we can't rely on the liberals, unfortunately, to get angry about shutdown because they seem to just want more of this shit because they just want to be retarded, right? And they want to, like, do what they can to, like, hurt everybody and hurt Trump, right? Because they can't fucking think past their fucking hatred of conservatives. And it's going to get us all killed, right? So conservatives, once more, will have to hopefully, you know, uh, push through. Um, based on their anger, I think I think that'll be the case. Uh, and of course, we're piling up unemployment claims, and domestic violence is also going way up. So, I mean, at some point, Democrats have to understand. This Democrat establishment has to understand, like, you know what? I know our base wants us to keep this shit shut down, but we're going to get all killed, so fuck it, all right? So, and then those, hopefully they'll start sending the marching orders to CNN and MSNBC and whatever. It's like, hey, you need to start uh, priming everybody for reopening this country because, you know, we're, we're, we're getting killed out here. So um, I, know, I haven't quite seen any indicators of that. You know, Cuomo is still clearly still frazzled. Uh, so, you know, but I mean, they say, I mean, but uh, Chris Cuomo, his brother, has recovered from coronavirus. So, I mean, that should be a lot of pressure off of uh, Andrew Cuomo. So, you know, uh, we'll see. But um, you know what? My ideal situation I mean, for for the better of everyone, everything should be reopened, including New York. But I would also accept 
conservative areas reopening, some liberal areas reopening, and then New York State being still shut down due to Cuomo, right? Because at this point, Cuomo's taking the full burden of it uh, of his own. So if anyone gets to blame, it'll be him. And he even said, just blame him, not your local official. So he's actually taking one for the team. And it works out in everyone's favor because that also means, guess what? We can't have our stupid pride marches for whatever X, Y, Z, you know, infinity group, right? There's always a, a pride march of some kind, right? I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's really annoying, right? And it's, and it's designed just to piss off, uh, you know, conservatives, right? It's like, you don't need a pride march for fucking every day for every little thing. So, um, yeah. So basically the left-wing degeneracy engine also shuts down too. So uh, everyone wins, evil loses, right? And of course, liberals will continue losing their minds. I guess to be fair, conservatives will also lose their minds too. But uh, well, when that happens, we uh, tend to get angry and then go protest. That's why we're at these uh, and the shut. Oh yeah, I forgot the most important thing: shut down America. Whatever happened with the uh, things? Uh, let's see, Politico, the costs, making greatness. Uh, shut down through Kroka, shut down America for months, and then all right, so it's mostly okay. You know what? Um, let me specifically look up protests. What states have seen protests? Uh, open Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania is a swing state, um, Decry in Maryland, Texas, and other places, right? Okay, draws about 2000. What the anti state is a lot of shit boycott. Now, this is interesting. What did she say? Of course, this is going to take forever to load. We're being promoted. First Amendment is an essential service. Uh, protocoling for an end to shut down. Okay, so just some people are protesting. Should boycott low income workers should boycott after coronavirus shutdown. What? Uh, uh, God, she wasn't like a fucking relatively attractive Hispanic girl and a Democrat. She would have been ex excoriated for su suggesting something that stupid. Uh, but you know, uh, she's obviously not that. So, uh, oh well. Anyway, I'll see you all on. My, hmm, uh, I might need to sneeze. Oh, here comes the coronavirus. It might be coming out. All right, no, it's not coming up. All right, so I'm done for the week. I'll see you all on Monday, unless, of course, something significant happens over the weekend. Uh, so enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Uh, start pushing for reopening America, but make sure you do social distancing and have your mask. That's all you need to fucking do. And then get in good, uh, healthy shape so that if you do get infected with something, not just coronavirus, you'll fight it off, right? Because remember, the regular flu kills a ton of people every year in America, right? We don't go crazy over that. But, you know, it's because people are on, uh, physically unhealthy 99% uh, of the time. So, yeah. Anyway, see you all on Monday. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, oop, over here. JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here is our thumbnail.